Well, New Jersey was expecting to have legalized gambling on NFL games this weekend, but a judge has put a halt to that. The fight to legalize sports gambling, though, is far from over. And joining me to discuss this is the man who wrote the bill, New Jersey State Senator Raymond Lesniak. Senator, thanks for being on studio with us. Well, Appreciate nice, it. nice to be. I was looking forward to placing a bet, but uh, <laughs> that, that I think... was going to be my first question. Who are you going to be betting on tomorrow? But, uh, but where do we stand with this right now? What's the next step? Well, unfortunately, we stand with the judge that seems to adopt every single position that the NFL and the sports leagues take. Um, we still have one more chance with this judge um, because he even said that no, uh, that uh, the leagues would be irreparably harmed yeah. if we took bets at Monmouth Racetrack tomorrow when the Detroit Lions are playing the Atlanta Falcons in Wembley Stadium where they're, they're taking bets right in the stadium themselves they're making bets so it makes no sense so I'm, I'm not I don't have a lot of confidence in this judge we may have to win on appeal we, we won one judge last time on appeal we will win ultimately but that's going to take us another six to, to nine months hoping we can change this judge's mind. Yeah, you mentioned irreparable harm, and I want to talk about that. He did rule that the expansion of sports gambling would lead to irreparable harm. What is your response to that? Bull feathers. <laughs> I mean, he that's just, the kindest <laughs> way to say it right there. Just, we are on air, so that's helpful. He just didn't apply the law. I mean, they are taking bets on, 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 on games in Las Vegas as we talk at Wembley Stadium, how can Monmouth racetracks lead, lead to anything? That's the standard that has to apply. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm concerned about this judge. He's stretching the law to accommodate the NFL. That's not good. Yeah, they're targeting, um, they're targeting New Jersey's rule on regulating gambling. I mean, is this a matter of semantics here where a, a state can't regulate gambling, but the way this law was written, you're not officially regulating gambling? We're certainly not there. What we did was we just uh, deleted our gam ga gambling laws as they apply to casinos and racetracks. The regulation is going to be by the casinos and racetracks themselves, not by the state. And that's why we'll win on appeal, because that's exactly what the Third Circuit said we could do. But, but you're overseeing these gaming commissions, though, right? I mean, is the... the no, not at all. Okay. Not, not at all. The, they'll be on their own. We trust them. Okay. They're, not, they're, they're going to have their own self-regulatory body. They're, they formed, they're going to have rules and regulations. No minors um, will, will be able to bet. So they'll have their own standards, uh, and, and they'll enforce them. And that's the only way we can get it done, and that's worth it for us. Our casinos and our racetracks are hurting. We have over 8,000 people out of work in Atlantic City. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Super Bowl week, long NFL weekends, NCAA tournament, you cannot get a room in Las Vegas. Atlantic City is a ghost town. Yeah. We want those people helping out Atlantic City. And the racetrack industry uh, as well is hurting. Sports betting will, will bring those people back. I'm, br I'm glad you brought uh, Atlantic City up because um, over the past year, it's been four Atlantic City casinos has have closed over this past year how critical is it for new jersey to pass this but well for for the judge to we've already passed it that's true by for, a two to one <laughs> vote you guys passed it the voters yeah, yeah over overwhelmingly Absolutely. i sponsored that referendum overwhelmingly so we will not be denied um, we just may have to wait a little longer it's critical for the judge to rule in our favor we need to get those jobs back we need to get people back into Atlantic City, back at our racetracks, and people want to do it. They want to go to where the action is, place a little bet, have a drink, have dinner, have some fun. What's so bad about that? It's just having fun. You can't... Absolutely. Don't have a problem with people having fun. Um, you know, we've been talking so much about the NFL, but I think the NBA is involved in this as well. And I want to take something from Adam Silver here. Exactly. He said that it's inevitable. This is Adam Silver, yeah. the commissioner of the NBA. It is inevitable that if all of these states are broke, there will be legalized sports betting in more states than just Nevada, and we will ultimately participate. Participate, yes. participate in that. Is it kind of strange that he's part of this complaint? Um, well, the same thing. David Stern basically said the same thing. Sure. And the leagues slapped them around and got them to back off. So you know, I'll, I'll, the end game, in my opinion, for the leagues is. Ultimately, when we win, they'll, they'll claim some kind of, they'll make another claim, property rights. This is, these are our property rights, and you can't, and then, then they'll start talking Turkey, yeah. and, we'll, and we'll settle. I think that's their end game. That is the end game. The end game is always dollars and cents, isn't it? For, for the NFL and these sports leagues, for sure. 
We just want to bring people back to work and, and get for New Jersey what Las Vegas and Nevada already has. We're talking about legalized sports gambling. We're here with the man who wrote the bill, New Jersey State Senator Raymond Lesniak. And, uh, Senator, let's talk about the NFL ratings because right now the NFL ratings yeah. are through the roof. And I would like to think, well, I believe that those ratings are a direct correlation of fantasy football, which is a kind of a version of gambling here. It seems like there is a correlation between higher ratings ratings and gambling. So isn't this really just about money for the NFL and all of these other leagues? Well, I believe so. I, I believe they ultimately want a piece of the action. They, they want as much as they can possibly get. We already have gambling, as we know. We just had another bus, organized crime, organized uh, crime run sports betting operation in New Jersey. It happens all the time. Uh, who's kidding whom? Uh, let's get on with it. Let us have sports betting in New Jersey. Get your VIG. We'll make a deal with you. <laughs> And let's move forward. Well, that's the thing. That's, that was the next question here. Is there a common ground? I mean, is this just black and white, one side wins, the other side loses? Or is there some sort of a way? Is this all about positioning by these leagues to try to make sure that they're going to get a higher percentage of what's coming on the backside? Well, they're certainly uh, hiding it very well, except for the NBA. The NBA is being realistic. They know that it's inevitable. They want to squeeze it just like they did fantasy football. They oppose fantasy football. So now they're they've they're now that we've broken through with sports betting, they're going to fight. Ultimately, they'll they'll cry uncle, and and we'll cut a deal, and we'll have sports betting in New Jersey. So there will be a deal that could be cut, then, huh? I believe so. Okay. All right. So what are the odds? Since we are talking odds here, finally, what are the odds that we will eventually see sports betting in New Jersey? Oh, eventually, uh, you know, absolute, even money, lead, three to five. Okay, all right, <laughs> we're going that high. Okay, eventually, uh, within the last year, soon, you know, it's it's tough. Uh, Judge Ship is uh, is 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 not ruling uh, in our favor. We hope we change our mind, but ultimately, when we get to the Court of Appeals, we'll win. So. Good chance, certainly sometime next year, hopefully sooner. So it could be six to nine months before we really get to this point once again? If we have to go to the Third Circuit Court of Appeals, yeah, unfortunately. All right. Okay. Senator Raymond Lesniak, thank you so much for all of your time. Really appreciate it, and keep up the good work. Well, I'll keep trying, that's for sure. I won't quit. All right. I believe you. <laughs>